Well, you guys uh, back on the road this week. What's your uh, thoughts on, on this game away from home? Yeah, just going into it like every other game away from home. Uh, you know, we know playing this league away is hard. You know, it's a difficult thing to do, difficult to get results on the road. I think our uh, away results haven't been good enough lately. I think the group knows that, the club knows that, and uh, it's something that we're looking to turn around. So I think, you know, everybody just keeping the same mentality of, you know, being a hard team to play against, being a hard team to compete with, and, uh, you know, just going there with the, you know, mindset of we're going to get three points and, and nothing less. It doesn't really matter how we do it as long as we come away with three points. What, in kind of preparing for Orange County, what kind of a challenge are they going to present? You know, they're, you know, they have a mix of experience and they have a mix of, you know, youthful, you know, energy. So mm -hmm. I think just, you know, making sure that, you know, we're on top of them and, and we don't really let that energy, you know, get on top of us or, you know, we don't let the experienced guys, you know, get into rhythm and, and start to dictate the game. Uh, I think as long as we do that, we'll be all right. You know, we'll be able to impose our style. Um, you know, we, we kind of approach the same game, the, the game the same every week. And, uh, you know, it's about us and not really about the other team. So we go into it with, you know, if we execute and if we do our game plan, then, you know, we'll be successful. You talked about going in and doing whatever it takes to get the result. It feels like maybe when the results haven't quite been there over the last couple of months, Alan and some of the player, you know, some of your teammates have still praised the performances, you know, said there are positive things. So has there maybe been, uh, at least maybe for road games, a, a bit of a transition more into, well, you know, if the performance isn't great, the result is at least, you know, a, a saving grace. Have you maybe shifted more result-minded then? Uh, I wouldn't say we've shifted. I mean, our, our goal is to always play, you know, nice soccer. Our goal is to always, you know, make it entertaining for the fans and and for uh, and for us in general. But, uh, you know, I think we need to look in the mirror when the results aren't good enough. And, you know, I think, you know, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, results matter. And, uh, you know, we have to do whatever it takes to get those results. So um, I wouldn't say the, the focus has shifted to doing anything it takes to get the results. You know, we still want to play our way and we still want to play our style and, and make it entertaining and, and fun to watch. But you know, at the same time, we have to acknowledge that in doing that, we can't give up, you know, silly stuff and we can't leave games saying, oh, we performed well, but we didn't get enough out of it. So I think just having the balance of, you know, playing our game, playing our style and also, you know, coming away with three points. Got a couple games under your belt now with San Antonio, finally, and um, you seem to walk right in and fit right into the lineup. Um, and so now that you've got guys starting to return and some more, of, you know, that turnover, that just seems to consistently happen, right? Consistent change, so to speak. How do you kind of manage that? And how do you continue to grow um, knowing all of these changes are still happening? Yeah, I think it's natural for all of us. You know, we, you know, we've all been around the game for such a long time. Uh, you know, just growing up, it's, it's a natural thing, you know, amidst the game. And uh, so I think change is just something that we're all not like, you know, we're used to, it's natural for us. So uh, there's not really like a secret to it like change comes and, and it's you know it takes a period to adapt you know I'm still you know adapting every session you know every game and you know I know guys around me as well and uh, they're doing the same and you know we keep adding new additions and you know that's just kind of natural and that's how the season goes so you know I think I think as a group being you know so close and you know having you know good chemistry in the locker room good chemistry on the field that just makes the change so much easier so you know I, if you know it feels like coming in I've you know fit right in you know the guys maybe feel at home and I think that's the most important thing just making sure the new guys feel you know at ease and you know comfortable with the group and and you're just getting them on the page as quickly as possible you know that's what happened with me uh, I didn't really have a choice I came in and <laughs> we didn't have a lot of guys at first so I was kind of thrown into it but you know they did you know an amazing job just making me feel comfortable and and you know natural here so I mean I was gonna say it's one thing to be accepted by the group it's another thing for it to translate on the field so you can pat yourself on the back um, for that one. But, you know, it's been such a short period of time, a lot of change, a lot of travel. Have you had a chance to check out San Antonio at all or do anything fun here? A little bit, not too much. Uh, you know, I've just really been focused on my game, on the team, and, and, you know, doing my best to have an impact here. And so I'm sure the time will come where I get to check things out. But, you know, I've been a couple places, but not, not as much as I'd like to so far. Yeah, maybe. Maybe another home stretch, right? Yeah. But,